What's going on guys? Here with Hardy Tech. Welcome back to Pokemon Leaf Green, the Egglock run. In the last episode, we took on two bosses. In the same episode, we took on Giovanni and Silphco. So that's the last we're going to be seeing of him until we get to Viridian City and we kick his butt yet again. And we also took on Koga in a very amazing battle where Beto actually proved to be pretty freaking amazing and just kind of wrecked everything. So I could have gone with Walken, but I wanted a bit of a challenge and Walken was pretty much guaranteed victory. So I thought I'd make it a little interesting. And today we're going to be taking on Sabrina and assuming everything goes well there, we will begin our journey towards Cinnabar Island. I don't know which way on Cinnabar we're going to go. I might actually go find out like all the areas I can catch Pokemon and then go do that because I don't know. I, I don't know. At the same, at one point it's like, is it really worth doing that because the Pokemon will be such a low level? But we got to start hatching some eggs because we haven't hatched any eggs in a while. So I don't know what we're going to be doing. But we're going to be taking on Sabrina. That's the first thing we're going to do. And we're going to just, we're going to go do that right now because there's like nothing else left to do in this game. I, mean, I don't, I think we could actually go to Cinnabar right now. But yeah, no, we're going to be taking on Sabrina. And I'm, I'm pretty scared of her Alakazam. And oh, I actually. I believe I have a list that tells me how to get to Sabrina, so that that is my notepad file. You can just ignore that, sorry. <laughs> because I always get lost, as I said this before, but at the same time, I kind of want to take on a bunch of trainers, so on our way to Sabrina, we're going to be taking on all the trainers we encounter so we can get tons of XP, and it'll just be, wow, of course you have a slowpoke. Nice. Okay. You know what? Whatever. I'm feeling risky today. Oh! Okay, screw you on risky. I'll just one-shot your slowpoke. That works too. All right, so now we know that Jimmy can one-shot slowpokes. I was a little afraid when I saw him. I'm like, well, now I gotta switch. And I still don't have anything that's strong against water types on my team. Slowbro, you're a little scary. I should be able to two-shot Slowbro, I imagine. Yep, that's two-shot. Oh, 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 that was unexpected. Okay, yeah, I can't use flamethrower on him. So let's go. Let's go with Beto. I don't want to use Metang that much here because Metang is really just kind of... Metang's been used so much lately, I kind of want to switch it. I just realized you're a Psychic type. Okay. I'm stupid. But I just realized... I have Water Absorb, so that's cool. Why would you use Water Gun on me, but you tried to use Confusion on Arcanine? Does anybody know... Does anybody have an answer to that? Because I'm quite curious. I want to know what's going on in this slow bro's mind. What is he thinking? What is he doing? Okay, so the next one we want to take is the bottom left warp square. And after that we take the bottom left again, but before that we got some stupid channel or lady with candles to take on. I think these are the one with the- oh no, these aren't the one with candles. These are- look at that face. Look at that face. I wonder what she wants to do with her mouth like that. Hmm. I guess we'll never know. I think we all know what she wants to do. You're not a psychic type! Why- sh shouldn't Ghastly be in Koga's gym? And all those freaking drowsies should be in this gym. I'm still trying to understand the poker logic there. It makes no sense at all that they just, oh, we'll just flip flop these around and nobody will notice. No, I noticed. I noticed. My assumption is they were supposed to be in those other places, and whoever was supposed to, like, put in charge of programming the Pokemon trainers, they probably just got drunk beforehand. And I bet whoever mixed up drowsy and ghastlies. They're the same people that put the penis pa the penis patch of grass in Fuakasi Ranch. That's my assumption. Okay, so after this lady, we have to take the top right warp square. And then we just have one more to go, and then we'll be ready to face Sabrina. She's like, oh my god! Can't wait! So I don't know what I'm going to be doing against Sabrina. I'll probably just... I, I don't really have any strategy. I don't think I'll have to go to Pokemon Center, because I believe I'll have plenty of bites left. And we still have Metang, who has not used anything yet, and he'll just... If worse comes to worse, we have Metang to just Shadow Ball everything. So next we take the top right warp square, I believe. And then after this, we'll take the bottom left. And we should be at Sabrina. If not, well, that's going to be rather awkward, isn't it? So let's hope by doing this right. Okay, Slowbro level 38. Holy poop. Um, okay, Wolken, it's time to shine. I didn't plan on using Wolken too much, but yeah, I also wasn't expecting a level 38 Slowbro. I think Sabrina's highest Pokemon is a level 41 Alakazam, and that thing, oh, that didn't do nearly as much as I want it to. And that thing, if it gets up some Calm Minds, you can seriously be in trouble. Luckily, Shadow Ball is physical, so Calm Mind won't affect the damage that it does, but Bite is special, so yeah. 
And let's finish you off with another Shadow Ball, I guess. I don't know. I I just had a feeling that if I went for Metal Claw, it probably would live. Just just because it can. Just because it, it can ruin all the fun. Alright, is this going to take us to Sabrina? Let's see. It's... It's... Oh my god, it was right. It's awesome. Okay, so... Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm not confident at all in this. I really wish Sipper had a Bug-type move, but at the same time, Sipper's weak to Psychic. Moon's weak to Psychic. Kinda wish I had a Dark-type Pokemon, uh, but I do not, so... I really wish that Charcoal didn't die now, but I think we can do this. I think we're ready to take on Sabrina. You know what's odd? In this generation, Sabrina doesn't look that amazing, but in 4th generation, Sabrina's actually pretty freaking hot, so... I'm just saying. This one, yeah, you know, she's like... She looks like she has gray hair, like she's just an old lady. Fourth generation, you know, they got their they got their act together and they knew what they were doing with their Pokemon, so. Just saying. Everyone should put a round of applause together for the, the people who designed Sabrina in Fourth Wow, Flinch, awesome. Okay, that's actually really good. Waste all your hyper potions on your stupid Kadabra. That means that the less the more you do to Kadabra, the less we have to worry about with Alkazam. And another bite should take it out. Awesome. Okay, one down. I believe her other Pokemon are Mr. Mime, Alakazam, and... I don't know. Is she the one with the Venomoth? I know somebody I thought had a Venomoth, and I can't remember who it is. I don't know who her fourth Pokemon is now. That's actually making me rather nervous. I should be using Flamethrower, because Stab Flamethrower is actually more powerful than Super Effective Bite. So, yeah. Let's, let's go with that. I don't know why I'm using Bite in the first place when, you know, like I just... Oh, boy. Oh boy. Oh no 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 no. Oh, okay. Actually, we took that. Wow, you had another hyper potion. Okay. That's nice. That's cool. Okay. We can take one more Psybeam. Let's hope this thing doesn't have Psychic. Let's hope it just has Psybeam. Because if it's Psychic, then Jimmy's dead. Woo, a burn. I like that. Calm Mine and Victory is ours. Against the Mr. Mime, anyways. So, it doesn't look like we're going to be using Jimmy against your Alakazam now. Because I doubt Jimmy can live a Psychic from Alakazam with that much HP, maybe at full HP. But I don't think with only half of our HP. Well, yeah, yeah the, the Venomoth! Why? Why do you have the Venomoth? Venomoth is a poison type! Ah! No, bad Pokemon! Bad, bad Pokemon! It doesn't make any sense! It just... It doesn't make sense! I don't un I don't understand you, Pokemon. Why are you doing this to me? Okay, whatever. With that, we send out Wolken, and I don't believe this Alakazam will really be able to touch us. Um, oh, it's level 43. I thought it was level 41. Okay, never mind. Psychic, how much is that going to do? We do resist it. I think we quad resist it, and a critical hit doesn't even do half. That's fantastic news. Now, the big question is how much does Shadow Ball do? Shadow Ball does, oh, a lot. Amazing. Okay, now it's Metal Claw. And we just won our 6th gym badge. That went... Actually, no, that's kind of how I predicted it to go. I didn't really think Sabrina would be that difficult. And I knew Wolken could pretty much wall everything. Which is why I didn't want to use him that much. This is why I would use Jimmy for most of it. Because I want to kind of take some kind of risk in this. Because this Nuzlocke run, for the most part, has actually been coming like too easy. I mean, I have 6 gym badges now and I've only lost 4 Pokemon. It's like, eh, that's kind of uncharacteristic of Hardy, and I don't remember how to get out of this place, so we're just gonna start using random ones. Can you use Dig to get out of here? I don't know. I'm, I'm curious. <gasps> you can use Dig! That makes no sense that you can dig out of a gym building, but whatever. I wonder if you could dig out of all the ones, or if it's just the Saffron one you could dig out of. No, I'm curious, because I, I am actually very curious about that. I guess when we go into the Cinnabar gym, I will, I will try doing that, so. Now the question is, how do we get to Cinnabar Island? Do we take the Pallet Town route, or do we take the other route? The good thing is, if we take the Pallet Town route, and we manage to reach the Grass Wood Pallet Town, I believe the Tangle is there, actually I can't remember if they're in their 20s or in their 30s. If they're in their 20s, it's not that exciting. If they're in their 30s, that's actually pretty, really good level, so. I think, well, if we take the... The Fuchsia route, that's a lot of water type Pokemon. Most of them unfortunately are tentacles, and we don't have any electric or grass types on our team. We could go get someone out of the box, I suppose. This would be a good chance to start training up Grovile. But I think Grovile is only like level 19, so he's really underleveled at this point. And 
I love my team so much. So we're gonna take the Palatine route, because I I don't know. Wait, 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 wait! All this water that is a long way. So eventually we will go to Seafoam Islands because we'll probably end up going and taking on all the legendary birds before we take on the Elite Four. Because I might, I'm not 100% sure, but from what people have told me, I'm like 90% sure that... Can we reach the grass? Can we reach the grass? Oh, we did. I'm like 90% sure that the we can't take on the Elite Four until our second trip through the Elite Four. Wow, level 21. That's, that's pretty disappointing. And I'm pretty sure this is going to kill it. So, yep. All right, whatever. I'm not that upset that we didn't get a Pokemon here. Like I said, it's it's kind of getting to the point where it's like, is it kind? Is it really worth hatching Pokemon? I mean, I think the Pokemon in Cinnabar in um, Pokemon Mansion or Cinnabar Mansion—I don't remember what it's called. I think those ones will be worth hatching because they're relatively high level. But until we get to them, uh, yeah, I I don't plan on catching any of these Pokemon. I'll probably take on these trainers when I'm grinding because. We don't really need to take them on right now. Wow, I'm really glad we didn't run into a Pokemon with Surf, because it would have been level 7. And that's... That's just sad, isn't it? Doesn't that... Hey, 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 you want to battle? You want to battle? You want you want to take... You want to battle me, huh? Hmm? Huh? Huh? You afraid of water or something? You, you, you just can't... You can't battle me from here? Huh? If I step next to you, you battle me. You just afraid of water? You afraid of water? Huh? 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 That's what I thought. What about you, huh? You want to battle? You want to go? Want to take me on? That's right, I'm on a boat, boy. Or a whale, Lapras thing. I don't want to battle any trainers because that's a good way to become underleveled. I'm actually trying to become rather underleveled to make this more difficult because it's just been too easy, and I don't like that because that's gonna jinx me. It's been extremely easy this entire time, and then all of a sudden it's just gonna get hard out of nowhere. And if I'm underleveled for that, then I'll obviously survive it. Now don't get me wrong, I very much want to win this Nuzlocke because I think that'd be really awesome to actually win a. Entire. Uh, I've won a Nuzlocke before, my Fire Red one, but to win one that's entirely on screen, that would be cool. So, and to win my first Nuzlocke LP and not just, my Fire Red was like 98.7% off screen and I just did the finale of it because I was bored and I thought that'd be a fun thing. Wow, why do you even have Poison Sting? I don't, I don't understand it. I don't even think Cedra or, I, I think it's just Cedra. I don't think Horsey gets po um, Poison Touch, but... It's, you, you don't even learn any poison type moves. Actually, I think smoke screen's not poison. Smoke screen's a normal type move. I want to think that Seedra might actually get smog, but I'm not a hundred percent confident on that. So, either way, we can restore a Pokemon. I don't. I don't want to go there. We can restore a Pokemon actually, and I think no matter what we do, it'll be level five, which. Yeah, it's like, yay, another level 5 Pokemon, because, like, so many Pokemon in our box are, like, level, between level 5 and level 20. It's really just, like, eh, it's not, I, I can't be bothered doing anything, so. I've always hated Pokemon Mansion, because I can never remember how to get through this place, but first thing we're going to do is catch ourselves a Pokemon, and hopefully it's Eradicate that's a high level. But, nope, instead it's a Rattata that's level 26. I guess that's usable. We'll go with the Seismic Toss, which the only reason I even have Seismic Toss on still is for catching Pokemon because it's pretty much guaranteed not to kill them. And yeah, the Rattata isn't going to do anything to us, so we can pretty much take our time. We should use our Master Ball on a Rattata. Yeah, that would be a fantastic idea. Yeah, no, we're, we're not going to do that. I actually think we can go to the Power Plant and we can get a high level Pokemon there. I think the Pokemon in the Power Plant are probably high, high 20s to low 30s. Considering you can't even get there until you have Surf, so... Now I'm curious about what the Pokemon in the Power Plant are like, so we might go do that after Pokemon Mansion. I'm... I... I... God dang it. I didn't press A. I didn't try to go in there. You just... You gotta tell me. It, it's not cool sign. It's not cool door. This door has an attitude, and I don't appreciate that, so... Where is our Rattata? Here's our lovely old Rattata, level 26. Let's see if we can find any good hatches. Let's go, Box... Four, let's try this one. And let's see what we get. Hopefully we get something good. Jimmy, I probably I promise you won't be in the box long. You like earned a permanent spot on my team until you die. Just by how amazing you were taking on Sabrina. So Yeah. Uh, hey, old man, get out of my way, old man. Out there why why are there even oh, god dang it, people keep getting in my way. Why are there even old people in the Pokemon games? They they I was I was gonna make a joke, but yeah, it seems it seems mean to make a joke about old people because 
They're old. They don't know any better. Anyways, Rattat is now a Coelho. Yay! It's an illegal Pokemon. Just for heck of it, let's take a look at this Coelho, see what he had. Because Powder Snow, we're in Defense Curl. Okay. That's cool. I had actually never understood how Snow Runt evolves into Glalie because they don't really look anything like each other. I mean, one looks like a piece of candy corn and the other looks like a giant snowball. I don't really see the connection there, but whatever. Let's try Box 4 again. Let's go this one this time. I don't know. Just I feel like Box 4 is the way to go. It, it just I trust Box 4 today. Actually, I've heard Box 4 has a lot of illegal Pokemon in it, so... I don't know why I'm like, hey, let's go for the one that's like 90% chance to give us something illegal. Yeah, that seems like a brilliant idea. But no, in reality, it's a horrible idea. But when have I ever had good ideas? Most of the stuff I do is just really, really, really dumb. So, I'm okay with that. Uh, I don't know why, but I, I don't, I've been wanting to talk about this all day. Like, whenever I'm thinking, oh boy, when I record, I'm going to talk about this. Because I'm sure it's a super exciting story, but... In reality, most people probably won't care at all, and it's just kind of showing how derpy I am, so... I've never played Mario 64 before. I've never actually really been into Mario games, um, besides Mario Kart, which is like the greatest game ever. Is I've never really been into platforming or side-scrolling games that much, but... For some reason, Mario 64 is like always claimed as like one of the greatest games ever, and I'm like, okay, you know, I'll play it, but... Since I... <gasps> Oh my god, oh my god, please be legal. If you're not legal, if you're, if you're legal, I'm, oh god, oh god. Scratch, I don't, I don't care if you are in pursuit or not, because I'm not keeping that move anyways. Okay, level 26, he's, okay, while I'm leveling up, I'll continue my, oh my god, is it, we're gonna have a Sandrit, or fur it, yay. Anyways, so, but I don't have a Nintendo 64, and I can't really be bothered playing on Nintendo 64 emulators a lot, because if you play on, like, a keyboard, it's extremely difficult, and I, I don't know, playing on an Xbox controller just doesn't really feel the same, so... Instead, I'm playing Mario 64 DS, and... This, I've watched the verses of Mario 64, and that's kind of what made me want to play this game, so... I was like, yeah, you know, okay, we'll do that, and... I ended up getting it, and... Despite the fact that I've watched the Mario 64 verses, and I see them, like, running around and doing all these things... I'm playing the game, and I don't know how to run. So, you start off as Yoshi in Mario 64 DS because it's a little bit different than a normal Mario 64. And I'm just here walking around everywhere because I can't figure out how to run. My brain, like, doesn't really click to realize, hey, I'm sure there's a way to run. I'm just like, oh, if I keep jumping, eventually I'll actually start running. And it got so annoying having to walk everywhere because the game felt so slow-paced. I, I just, like, completely lost interest in doing it. So, I just, like... I. I got to Womp's Fortress, and I couldn't figure out how to do the ground stomp, so... I was just like, I have no idea what to do against this guy. So I, I'm walking around everywhere, I can't figure out how to ground stomp. It's just, it, it's going incredibly horrible, to say the least. And I was in a Skype call last night with a friend, and for somehow we ended up talking about Mario 64. DS. And she was saying that she... Uh, neither of us, like, really liked the game, and that she couldn't, like, figure out the game. Like, she never got very far. And... I'm like, dude, I can't even figure out how to run. And she's like, oh, you just press Y. And when she's done, I'm like, what? 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 No, I didn't, I didn't believe her. I didn't think it was that simple that you literally just press Y. Now I opened up my 3DS, I play, I turn on Mario 64, and I press Y, and all of a sudden I'm running. And it's just like the greatest moment ever. It's like, oh my god, you can run. Ah. I... It made me so happy, and it, I've actually been playing it now. I figured out how to ground stomp, so I beat Womp's Fortress. I actually have no clue what to do now, so I'm just... I'm in the snowy world. I don't remember what it's called, a snow place, and... Uh, yeah, but either way, now that i figured out how to run, I figured out how to ground stomp, and I figured out how to long jump. I haven't unlocked Mario yet, because I only have three stars, but... I'm having a lot of fun with this game now, and I think I'm going to use some repels, because... I don't know, I just, I want to get through this place as fast as possible. I really, really hate Pokemon Tower, because I can never remember which statues I'm supposed to press and which ones I'm not. And just, oh, oh, okay, that's good, we're obviously getting a, why couldn't we get this Raticate before? That would have been really helpful to get a nice level 36 Raticate, but no, instead we get, next time I want to find a place that has high level Pokemon, I should put on a Repel, because then I'm pretty much guaranteed. Okay, 
Um, is I think we're supposed to turn off the switch and then go up those stairs up there. I don't know. I don't know how to get through Pokemon Tower. I know I said I know the Kanto region very well, and someone kind of pointed out my lack of knowledge with the warp tiles and saying, oh, you don't know Kanto at all. You're just a big fraud. You're just a phony. And I repel already wore off. Do we have super repels? I would have swore I bought super repels, and I guess I didn't, so that's fantastic. So once we run out of repels, my poke life is just going to be a living hell. I could just go buy super repels, to be fair, but that's a lot of work. And I I just want to get through this place. I, oh, okay, okay. I think we if we fall through this one, it'll take us to the place we need to go. So please take me where I need to go. Come on, come on. <gasps> it did. But we got to take on this guy first. And I want to think he has poison types because I think a lot of people in here either have fire types or poison types. And okay, I have an electrode, which is the complete opposite of everything else I just mentioned. I was trying to appear smart. I was trying to maybe think, hey, I'll make them make it, I'll make it seem like I actually know what I'm talking about. And you just gotta come along and have a friggin' electrode. That's that is so rude. So basically, uh, anyways, if you guys have have you guys played Mario 64 before, either the DS or the regular version? One thing I don't I don't I don't know why I just the controls feel very weird for that game. I don't know if like a lot of people like it, but I haven't been enjoying it that much. Um, it is, I think it's the first 3D Mario game I played. I think I played Mario Sunshine when I was younger, but I never owned it. I think I just like played a demo of it. So this is like my first time experiencing a 3D Mario game. I did try playing, I at one point when I like very first got my very first R4 card, I did try playing um, Mario 64 DS and I couldn't figure out what was going on. So I just like, I turned it off and never played it again. But once I watched the verses and once I got my R4 for my 3DS, I'm like, you know what? I want to do this again. We're out of repels now, so that's horrible news. Maybe we'll get lucky and we'll run into a bunch of dittos. I doubt we'll get lucky and run into a bunch of dittos. I don't even know how that'd be lucky or benefit us in any way, running into a bunch of dittos, but eh, you know, whatever. So <gasps> this is what I wanted to talk about. I, I had... Like, all day, ever since last night, I'm like, Okay, Hardy, you gotta talk about this in your video, because it's super uber important, and people need to know about this, and if you forget, I'm going to be so upset with you. And I almost forgot. As always, I pretty much always forget when I talk about things, but I'm remembering today, and now I'm gonna talk about it as soon as I get done talking about how I remember to talk about how I wanted to talk about it, and now I'll actually get to talking about it, so... Yesterday, a few videos back, actually, I ended up mentioning that I got some Pokemon cards, and... Wow, yay, we're paralyzed! And I was gonna vlog myself opening the Pokemon sticker. Did I say Pokemon cards? I meant Pokemon stickers. And then I was gonna vlog myself opening the Pokemon stickers over on Team Caterpie. Well, after like three days of literally staring at the pack of stickers, feeling extremely lazy, I finally managed to get myself to do it. And so if you're curious in vlogs or Pokemon stickers, I will include a link to it in the description to my vlog channel. I believe the there's like no useful Pokeballs here. I think one Pokeball is Blizzard and the other one is probably just something that I don't care about. Actually, we gotta hit the statue. Which room is the statue in? Is this Blizzard? Yay, that's Blizzard, a TM I am never going to use and I'll probably just sell because Ice Beam is so much better. I would, I don't know why anybody would use Blizzard over Ice Beam unless you have Hail Up. You know, Blizzard on an Obama Snow is just no, okay, I gotta press it again. Blizzard on an Obama Snow is extremely overpowered because with Snow Warning, Blizzard has 100% accuracy. And that's pretty, that's just, that, that's like death. I mean, 120 base power. With Stab, it is 180 base power. Super effective, it's kind of pretty much means you're dead. And I don't know if Obama Snow's special attack is that good. I think he's actually more of a physical attacker because um, I want to think his signature move is wood hammer, but I'm probably wrong on that. Is this the key? That is the key! Yay! What is down here? Is there anything good? Oh! Solar Beam! Another move I'll probably never use, but I don't think... I'm, I'm probably wrong on this, but I don't believe that um, Obama Snow has fantastic special attack. I think him and Snow Runt are more physical attackers, but alas, I know nothing about Pokemon, so I'm sure they're probably special sweepers. Anyways, that is going to do it for today. Next time, we'll be taking on 
Cinnabar Island, and we'll probably be going to the Cinnabar Gym, and we'll probably be going to the to the Sevy Islands after that. So that should be fun. Thank you guys for watching. Last time we completed our goal of I believe 316 likes. So this time let's go for how about 347 likes? Let's do that. Thank you guys. Until then, I'm Hardy Tokyo. Peace.